I'm gonna go be a giant kid. I'm going to Butterfly World. Butterfly World. We're at Butterfly World in Coombs, BC, and I liked this one because the butterflies just seem calmer. Like you can go right up close to them where some of the other butterfly places that we've been to. I went to one in Niagara Falls, another one in Victoria, BC, and they just they were kind of sporadic. They just wouldn't calm for a minute to get a good picture. This one's like, it's a small little place. It's pretty cute. Cost me and Emily like 30 bucks to get in here. It's pretty wild in here. All this like greenery is just beautiful. It's just a small little greenhouse. It goes from like right there to right back there. And that's it, just a small little building. trying to be on YouTube, I think. <laughs> well, that was fun. Next step, I need a donut. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> this little town of Coombs, BC is not far from my shop and it's just a rad, funky little place. And they got a market and a whole strip of really rad stuff. But the cool thing about this market is there's goats on the roof. See? There's a goat right there. <laughs> How cool is that? Is a goat on the roof. And they even have like a little home built up there. Right there. See? A little tiny home. We're full of goats. Yep, that's his bum. Nice bum, Billy Goat. See that cute little building right there? That's the only reason why I came here. The goats and stuff are cool, but the donuts are way better. Oh, it's not that. I'll get uh, two individual ones. I get a honey glazed and a cotton candy. Awesome. Would you like me in two separate bags? I'll just shove them in the same bag. We're going into the same place. Probably coming back out the same hole. <laughs> oh, did, did I need? I didn't need to follow through with all that, did I? <laughs> Donuts for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Cotton candy one. That's just as colorful as the butterflies we were just seeing. Cool. Well, that's a good one. Sometimes when you just keep the donuts on the basic, they're better. Mm. It's like they just, like they just made it. Mm. That thing's cool. Safari, baby, let's go. Now, if I was ever gonna build a tiny home, it would look like that. <laughs> How cool would it be to live in that thing? Yeah, 100%. Hey, think about it. This is wide enough. You could put your van in. This would be your garage. The door, the big cage doors like this would shut on the end to keep your van in, and boop, you go upstairs. I mean, it would have to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> that would be so fun. <laughs> What's the matter? Blow! <laughs> well, that place was fun. I got my donuts now. I'm good. Now what? I'm going go to the hippie store? Let's go to the hippie store. There's Emmy! <laughs> There's that safari truck. There's a fire truck food truck. That's pretty cool. It's a food truck. <laughs> in a fire truck. <laughs> the inner kid in me <laughs> loves this. This little green building is full of like 
you know, tie-dyed stuff and it's called Coombs Stock. Look at these little shirts. This is Vancouver Island, our little, little kitty van shirts. Look at them all. Oh heck no, I just thought they were cute. <laughs> Easy now. A little, little yoga Sasquatches. You can get Sasquatch finger boots. <laughs> hey, I don't know why you'd need a set of Sasquatch finger boots, but those are funny. How cute are these little Volkswagen cups? <laughs> those are awesome. One of you girls living in that van out there? The van? Yeah. It's my van. Is it yours? Yeah. You living in it? Yeah. Some oh, stickers for you. Thank you. A little van right there. I was like, hold on a second. Maybe one of those girls in that shop lives in the van. And the girl's like, yeah, that's my van. So I gave her some van life because normal life sucks stickers. Hey, because normal life just sucks, doesn't it, bro? Hey, doesn't it, bro? We at the shop. We were thinking about going to grab a patio somewhere to have a bite to eat. But because the temperature is super warm outside, that is not an option. Because we got animals. We're gonna check the temperature inside the shop. If it's cool enough, we're gonna leave the puppy behind. It's nice in here. A little light in my shop. Those skylights sure make a huge difference. 20 degrees Celsius in here. It's a good temperature. All those skylights just light this whole place up. Is the temperature? 20. Oh, that's perfect. That's great. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna miss us. That doesn't happen very often. I got a passenger. Every time I see that sticker, I want to go and get get hot dog. These guys, Mad Eats and Duncan, make a mean smoky. Oh yeah. Huh? Shout out to the guys from Mad from Mad Eats. It feels weird to be out for lunch without the kids outside. <laughs> that, my friends, is one good looking burger. Look at that. Well, everything looks okay. There's my socks and my shoes on the counter. And uh, I don't see any any dead kitties or a dead cruzy. I think we're good. <laughs> Cruzy spoiled rotten. We can't even go out without the dog. He's got three giant bags of frozen food and red balls. Oh, he's got a We're making a pit stop because there's something over here that is downright freaking adorable. And I'm this close to putting one in my shop or outside the shop. They're so cute. Every time I drive by this place, I'm like, I'm gonna buy one of these. Seriously, they're freaking adorable. There's a little log cabin corner store here in Parksville where my shop is at. And a local carver out here makes these super adorable bears. Like, they're so cute. Look how sad he looks. This guy's like looking at you going, can you take me home? You look so sad, buddy. <laughs> With this one, look, look how cute this guy is. He's holding a little baby one. Aren't these incredible? These are so good. And they did little eyes on them just to make you want to just say, take me home. Look how cute he is. Right over there, you see the pile of wood there? That's where the carver is. Um, he's not here today, but yeah, he sits out there and with his chainsaw and carves up these awesome little things. One of these days, guys, one of you might be sitting outside the shop. And the guy that, the guy that runs the store here, he's a subscriber of the channel. Good dude. Okay, buddy? You didn't attack the kitty cat at all? Everything looks okay. Oh, and there's Kelly on my DJ gear. Hi, Kelly. Temperature in the shop, it raised a little bit. Now it's 21 degrees. Finding a nice shady spot to sleep tonight because it is really warm outside here today. And the rest area here looks like uh, nice and shady. This is perfect. What would you like, sir? What would you like? Would you like one of these? Ah, yeah, look at that. There's something I can help you with.
all that fun stuff and running around today and I'm gonna end the day cleaning my van because <laughs> well you know just like that baby he's so expressive in the face <laughs> you imagine what he's thinking right now look at that side eyes that gives it to me all the time hey what <laughs> Ah, listen to that. The beautiful sound of van life. Cars driving by your home while you're just getting ready for bed. What a beautiful sound. <laughs> Temperature inside the van is exactly 27 degrees Celsius. We better turn on this roof vent and let it breeze in. So my roof vent is set to pull air outwards. And at night, it pulls in all that cool air right over top of me, and it feels epic. And in the summertime, I definitely couldn't live without this thing. It spins 360 degrees no matter what direction you need air blown. This fan has it on lockdown. I've had one of these since the first year of my van life, and I love them. This is a Sirocco 2 fan by Caframo. Um, yeah, it's got multiple speeds and it's awesome. So at night, if I want it on my face, boom, right at the pillows, tip it this way towards my body, or if I just want to just move around some air, I can do that. Uh, definitely a must have for summer times. You guys remember my shaky cabinets? Look at these things aren't moving anywhere. They used to bounce out. You can see the little indents right there. You see all the little, all the, all the wood? That used to bounce forward, smack against this light and bounce backwards. They don't rattle no more. I put a piece of bracketing there and I drilled that straight through because there's a great big metal support back there. Drilled it right into that. Now that is 100% fully anchored on there and not moving anywhere. Hi. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> hey. That was a nice chat with a couple there in the minivan. They're over there having themselves a little dinner. We're gonna close up for the night. Yeah, just good people. Are you causing a ruckus in the nice clean bed? I see you got a brand new ball. Hey, you like your new ball? <laughs> ah. So the couple that pulled up in front of me here in a minivan, they, uh, they just bought their van in Vancouver. They're from another country. They did a little a little build inside the van and they're out here exploring until probably about September. It, it, it's so fun to hear people's stories and how they got their visas to come to Canada to go explore. And it's fun being an experienced explorer of British Columbia, giving them some tips on where to go and places to camp and uh, maybe ways to kind of navigate their um, way around out here and uh, just super good people. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching today. I'm going to go lie down beside my fan. Enjoy this nice little breeze on this hot. It's so nice to say this summer night. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out. Say bye, bro. Take a on your ball, buddy.